Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about initial cost and current value. Initial cost simply means the monetary involvement in getting shares. And it can be gotten by multiplying the number of shares by the initial price. Initial price simply means the amount which a particular organization or company has placed their share per unit. So, but if you're talking about the current value, it is simply the current market or stock exchange market value of share. That's what we call the current value. And it can be gotten by multiplying the number of shares by the current price per share. So I'm going to proceed by giving us an example on how to get this. We have an example that says, assuming Intercontinental Bank PLC showcases their share for a public subscription. So here we're going to write Intercontinental Bank. Intercontinental Bank. So then, okay, let's not put Let's put the name of a person. Let's say a, a man called Mr. Ade has an investment. So we're going to say Mr. Ade's investment analysis. Then we proceed and now write here shares. Then the next one we put initial price. That is the initial price of the share. And we have the initial cost. Then we have what we call the current value. The current value of the share, just like you know. Then we can easily put our gross profit because you either decide the other is gross, but let's just put it gross. Then we will determine whether it's a profit or a loss later. Then we assume that they are giving expenses because you pay for tax and you pay broker's fee. So we say less expenses. That's including the tax and the... Um, so here now we are going to say... Um, okay. Less expenses. So we are going to put this now down. Can I just give a space here? Um, okay, it's okay. Let's now put broker's fee. Let's give it same broker's fee is seventeen percent. Sorry, percent I mean. Then we have to put withdraw withholding tax. You understand? Withholding tax has to do it. The tax, you, whether you pay it through the company or you pay it directly, depending on the country you're working with. Then the next we have is total expenses. Take it. So now we come. Let's adjust this to make it look more decent. So in this aspect. What we're going to do in this B2, we're going to insert the prices just like as it matters in the cases. So, how do we go about it? The first thing we're going to do, we have to now put our net profit because we've not even indicated the net profit here. Net, let's just put it net because we don't know whether it will be a loss or a profit. So we'll put net. Then in B2, we just come here and put the number of share, which is seven five thousand seven hundred and fifty. Let's say is the number of share the man bought. Then in B3, what we're gonna do now is we indicate then initial price of the share. Then we know we don't know the initial cost. 
so what we'll do now, we'll put the initial, the current value in the stock exchange market. How much is it now? Because he made, he bought the goods now. So now look at the simple thing we're going to do. We we'll come into this place. We we'll put our equal sign. What is the initial cost? Like people may ask. Simply, the number of shares multiplied by the initial price is what we call the initial cost. Now do it that way. Press enter. That's it. Then. When you come to the gross, what do we do? The gross profit is simply, we have to get the number of shares. Let's put our equal sign, don't forget that. The initial price, we multiply it by the gross profit. The, should I say the gross profit? Sorry about that. You simply multiply it by the initial cost. That's how you get your gross profit. Then, how do we get the tax? What we are going to do in the aspect of the taxation we simply do it this way, equal sign, the percentage means 17% multiply by multiplied strictly by the gross point. The something is applicable here, 21% multiply by the gross profit. And the total of the expenses is simply this and this, the summit. We've gotten the total expenses. Let's make it bolder to make our work neat. Then, how do we get the net profit in this context? To get, to get a net profit is simply we have sorry to get a net profit yeah that means to not make any mistake to get a net profit Net profit now is the gross profit less the total expenses. So here we call this gross profit because there is no minus sign. If as you know we have a gross uh, minus sign, we say it is a loss. So here is a profit also. So that is how to work with initial cost and the current value and this is applicable in shares i just hope you find these lessons interesting all you have to do to master it is to go run over it again and use this to understand the value of shares for those of you that would need the question we ask how basically give you your questions thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel